A warm welcome to TechMag TV News. I'm Ellen Ochad and in our top stories. In a move that has raised eyebrows, the government has dispersed over 22 million zig to the Citizen Coalition for Change faction led by Sengezo Chabangu. The fund is part of the political party's finances for parties that participated in the August 2023 harmonized elections. According to a notice published in the government gazette, Chabangu's party will receive 22 million zig, translating to approximately 1.6 million US dollars at the official rate. The funding has sparked debate about the government's involvement in opposition party politics and the legitimacy of Chabangu's leadership after he proclaimed himself Secretary General and recalled several legislators loyal to former leader Nelson Chamisa. In other news, the Zimbabwean government is bracing for a potential mass deportation of its citizens from South Africa, with estimates suggesting that over a million Zimbabweans could be forced to return home. The Deputy Minister of Public Service, Messi Dina, on Wednesday told legislators that it was ready for the return of Zimbabweans exemption permits non holders from South Africa. The potential for mass deportation raises concerns of, about the welfare of Zimbabweans living in South Africa and the potential strain on Zimbabweans' already struggling economy. In a turn of events, Harare Mayor Jacob Mafume has been removed from his position as party spokesperson. Welshman Nwe, acting president for CCC, issued a statement today confirming that Honorable Williams Madzimure and Kura Onejiwai have been appointed to key roles within the party. Honorable Williams Madzimure will take up the position for Secretary of Information and Publicity, effectively serving as the party spokesperson replacing Jacob Mafume. Meanwhile, Kura Onejiwai has been named presidential spokesperson and these appointments are effective immediately. And moving on to tech news, Starlink has now launched in Zimbabwe. The satellite internet company's global availability map was updated on Friday night to show that its service is now live in Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans can now buy the service directly from Starlink on its website or from local authorized resellers within the country. The Starlink website shows that the standard kit can be bought for $350, US while the Starlink mini kit can be bought for $200. US. Zimbabwe's launch follows hard on the heels of the Botswana launch. Uganda Airlines is set to launch flights of the Harare Entebbe route starting from the 25th of this month in response to the growing demand of air travel between Zimbabwe and Uganda. Currently, around 9,000 passengers travel between Harare and Entebbe, a figure that is expected to rise with the introduction of regular flights. We'd like to tap into the markets in Harare and Lusaka, which are top and unsolved markets and most importantly to support Uganda Airlines Africa network connectivity but also to connect Uganda to the south and more to the west. And that was all we had on this news bulletin. For more of these stories do follow us on www.techmec.tv. Pleasant viewing.